It is day two of the impeachment trial for Attorney General Ken Paxton, and today we heard directly from one of his former staff members claiming the problems were ongoing. Yeah, there were fireworks today. Six News reporter William Johnson brings us the very latest of events. Yeah, it's day two of the impeachment trial for Ken Paxton. Only today, he wasn't the main focus. We heard directly from one person, Jeff Mateer, who served under Paxton as a direct subordinate from 2016 to 2020. And from what was said, a lot happened in that time. According to Mateer, Paxton was set to see Paul on July 22nd. After Mateer advised against it, Paxton agreed. I relayed concerns that I had previously raised to General Paxton about his personal involvement in any matters related to Mr. Paul. In September, Mateer said Paxton hired a lawyer to try to assist Paul. His staff didn't support the decision. He wanted him to, I guess, assist with or perhaps lead an investigation into uh, the allegations that Mr. Paul was making against federal and state law enforcement. Mateer then said Paxton was angry at the disagreement and moved forward anyway. And at that moment, Mateer says it reached a boiling point. I concluded that you know, Mr. Paxton was engaged in, 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 in conduct that was immoral, unethical, and, and I had a good faith belief that, that it was illegal. On September 30th, Mateer and other members of Paxton staff met with the FBI, and two days later, Mateer resigned. Busby, Paxton's attorney, then began to attack Mateer's character, claiming he had ulterior motives. You were staging a coup, weren't you? Absolutely not. <laughs> Busby questioned Mateer's motives, his legal background, and direct involvement in Paxton's actions. We wrapped up today hearing from another witness in just the last couple hours, who you'll hear more from tomorrow. I'm William Johnson with 6 News. And just a reminder, you can also go to our website, kcentv.com, to watch the trial live if you'd like. Tomorrow is set to pick back up at 9 o'clock in the morning.